Welcome guys. I had an interesting little rumor flung my way. Apparently the skates aren't as bad. So <laughs> uh, let's try this beach fishing thing again. It's late season. It's going to probably be mostly whiting, puffer fish. Uh, but there's been good numbers, good size of both of these fish. Some luck we might see a drum or a late season pompano. For the most part, it's been pretty good for most of this fall. So uh, I got four rods set up. Uh, I'm gonna mix up the rigs, mix up the placements to start and see how this goes. Right now it's about 1.30. Got the last two hours of the incoming tide and the first maybe hour of the outgoing is what I'm gonna get out of this today. So this should be pretty good. doesn't feel like a skate. On the board. All right. That's the second, uh, second bait in the water, fishing for about three minutes so far. That's a pretty good one of these guys. That's a, that's a whiting or sea mullet. Depends on the region. It's got that black tail, it's the gulf, gulf variation of them. Good to see they're, they're biting. Uh, 14, I'm gonna keep a couple of 14 plus. It tends to be the, the fillet, filleting size, you know what I'm saying? Accessible, tastes good, what's not to like about it? I think we gotta put our baits in a little bit closer. This one sucks. expert post skate rig right there. giant but oh real close in the pompano he is still in town oh yeah got lucky put the skate time in not a giant pompano but that's a still a, that's still a fryer <laughs> oh we got a skate on there i know it All right, that's four skates, one white and one pompano. I'm gonna give the sandbar a break. Like anything past the bar, first trough. I wasn't paying attention, he must have been just right there. Oh, thank goodness. Big sea mullet. Okay, well that's good. That's not a skate, right? Oh my gosh, what a mess. I've got two skates over here I gotta unhook. I made like 10 or 11 rigs the other night and I went through almost all of them today. So I gotta tie up a bunch more. I couldn't get away from the skates, man. It sucks I had that encouragement of uh, the two whiting and pompano. I didn't wanna leave this spot. 
I think I gotta come back. I'm gonna try a different tie tomorrow. So I'm gonna re-rig, re-tie, get everything in order tonight. And uh, hopefully we can come back tomorrow and at least get a few more whiting. Uh, definitely enough puffers and stuff, but the skates, they, they gotta get out of here, man. This is like unfishable. Okay, I had a choice to make. Uh, come back the next day, which was Friday, and fish in waders. We'll come back Saturday and fish in shorts in December. The choice was clear. It looks like I'm supposed to get some rain this afternoon and the winds are gonna pick up. So it looks like I'm, I'm fishing an opposite tide, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, but probably gonna fish the bar on the out, since we're on the outgoing. I don't have much water in close. But uh, let's piece this together, see how this goes. Um, see if fish bite differently, because uh, I fished on a northeast wind the other day. Today is southwest, so I don't know. I don't really get to fish much southwest in December. Southwest in the summer, it's not my favorite if it's been prolonged. You know, maybe the first day of southwest is okay. But in December, I have no idea. So let's see. All right, so I had to discontinue my the use of my Daiwa BG. Uh, it is done. It lasted two years, so hey, two or three. So it's not too bad. So an okay amount of use, but uh, I got I got my hands on a Toadfish Elite right there. That's the 4000. I think it's an IPX5 or 6, so I'm not sure. But let's see how it does. Looks like it should fit the bill pretty nicely for this light tackle stuff, so let's give it a go. Cast well. Can't complain about that part. Oh, got a bite on the end there. Let's get that one. First rod that went in, got the first bite. Let's check it out, Let's see what it is. Yeah, boy. It's my boy right there. See Mullet. See Mullet. Oh, we got another one on. This morning starting off great. All right. Gonna put a couple of these guys in the freezer. That's a good one, man. Those are the good ones right there, those 15s and 16s. We get this guy on ice and we're gonna to tend to this rod that's getting whacked. Man, I hope that rain doesn't really looks pretty mild right now, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't do much on me like that. Hope it don't do me dirty. Nice one. Oh man. All right, my conclusion is Southwest keeps them chewing in the, the colder months. 15 and a half, all right. That's my conclusion. I'm gonna keep like four or five. Nice fish, going wild here in the walk. All right, I got, looks like I gut hooked this one, so I'm gonna keep him. It's definitely not gonna be a waste, but yeah, it looks like I gut hooked him. Let me just check it out. Yeah. Oh, muff. Mullet! No whiting. Yeah, I feel like a major kook every time I uh, uh, call these fish. Uh, 
I call them sea mullets, Virginia mullets, uh, whiting. They've got a lot of names around here. Might have to go hang out in the car for a second. Uh, it's not that heavy rain. It's just pelting pretty hard because there's a good batch of wind with it. Southwest, huh? I want to try a live shrimp, actually. Conditions are decent for it. The uh, reason I want to put a live shrimp out there is, well, if there is some trout moving through the first trough, probably find them with the live shrimp. There's definitely a lot less skates on the outgoing tide. And in the surf, I think I'm going to hook him through the tail here. Just kind of through the back of the tail. One of the harder parts on the shell here. Um, I'm just curious, you know, if this works out, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It probably won't, but you gotta try it sometimes. Okay. Uh, hopefully the, the skates won't eat this thing left and right. My live shrimp got smacked here, and that's the, the biggest one of the day for sure. That is a great class of fish to, to whack a live shrimp, man. Wow. Wow. I put a live shrimp out there just to see. And yeah, that's a good one, man. <laughs> I was hoping for a speckled trout, but that's pretty cool. One of my biggest ones. That's awesome. So really just aiming for the trough right here. Curious if I'll get like a drum or a pompano. Big whiting's cool too, don't get me wrong. I just picked up another one on live shrimp. That's no joke, man. Wow, these are much bigger fish with live shrimp. This is very situational dependent, obviously. I just don't have junk fish, but these are awesome class of these guys, man. That's a really nice one right there, man. So that's my biggest one ever. Nice one, man. This is on cut shrimp. No, that's not a skate. He's bouncing. It's on the surface. This could be a pompano. Usually those sea mullet don't surface much. No, that's a whiting. Good one, wow. It's the first real big one on dead shrimp. All right, nice good one on dead shrimp right there. First one of those, the dead shrimp. I got two live shrimps out here. Two live shrimp left. I had enough of the, just, just out of curiosity to see if any other interesting bites come through. I was hoping to see maybe a pompano or a drum today with the whiting of size being around. Um, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. You, you try a couple things, probably going forward, what I'll start to do is, if the junk fish aren't bad, right now they're not, uh, I'll probably keep a live shrimp out there with the other three bait rods to catch fish. Um, the bait rods definitely caught way more action, but uh, I still have never caught a, a whiting that big on uh, cut shrimp. And I, I know it happens, but uh, to just put out two live shrimp and get two of the biggest ones of the day, you know, maybe that says something about you know having a few of those guys around. 
I was just kind of curious to see if I'd pick up a stray speckled trout, uh, just to see what's, you know, kind of in this zone. And, uh, you know, as the colder months progress, maybe more puffer fish, less skates. I don't know what, how it kind of the bite can change pretty quickly like that. But one thing I noticed, I used the, the fish finder rigs or the slider rig, whatever you want to call it. And then they tangle a bit. I don't know if they're tangling on the retrieve. I, I'm getting like a lot of spin out of the shrimp. So I got to think about how I want to re-rig it. Maybe I'll watch a few videos so that when I'm casting them out, they're not spinning because sometimes I'll fish live mullet in the surf with the, just the fish finder rig and yeah they won't spin but the, the shrimp seem to the shrimp seem to helicopter a little more making it more difficult but great action either way check the video's description links to everything we used we retired the Daiwa BG we're on the toadfish 4000 over there now uh, the other reels are pen reels so we'll see how this does compared to the pens pens really on the clash and slammer the uh, line roll bearings all I ever have to do so uh yeah, no more action on those guys. Oh, this one just got bumped. Oh, it got bumped again. Let's see. I figure that I figure that's going to be the problem with live shrimp. Is that I'm going to get a lot of hits like that. Check the video's description links. Everything we used. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you on the next video.